Change is coming for Argentina's number one export. A new European law designed to stop deforestation will begin in December. It will impact Argentina's soy exports. The European Union is very important, especially for soybean meal uh, exports. You know, uh, Argentina exports around one third of its soybean meal uh, uh, production to Europe. So this new standard will hit the whole soy complex. In May, China's Kofco loaded its first certified deforestation-free soy meal. The new regulation brings added challenges to exporters. So commodities is a, a common product uh, uh, where you usually manage big volumes with very small margins. Uh, so this uh, new regulation implies that we need to segregate the product and keep it segregated through all the uh, supply chain, which, uh, which is a, a challenge and a change of the way we're doing things uh, up to now. To guarantee compliance, the sector has worked on developing traceability. The markets are demanding to know where the products were done, where they were uh, produced. So in that case, uh, talking about deforestation, we are specifically given the position, the specific position or of every plot that is producing soybean. This new system could present an opportunity. Argentina is now on the way to becoming the first nation in the world to export soybean and soy meal that is 100% traceable. That is according to VSEC, the platform that oversees Argentina's regulation compliance. Through this uh, traceability system, we will be able to capture some value. We will be able to sell the products, but not only from the sustainability point of view, but also with the traceability point of view. The EU's new regulation is the result of global concern of the impact of deforestation on biodiversity and climate change. In Argentina, the northern province of Chaco is particularly at risk to the expansion of agriculture. 700 kilometres away, the port of Rosario has already felt the impact of climate change after the Paraná River fell to a historic low level in 2021. Local economists say there is public awareness about environmental issues, but there is also the reality for Argentina's struggling economy. This is the sector that brings in the most foreign currency. It doesn't generate much employment but it is important for economic planning and the country's economy as a whole. New demands at a critical time both here and around the world. Joel Richards, CGTN, Rosario, Argentina.